In this video, I'm going to show you how to change opacity based on interactions. So I've got two images here. One of them I want to fade out when the mouse hovers over it. The other one I want to fade in. So the one that I want to fade in, let's start thinking about, okay, what order do these interactions happen? So when it loads, I need it to be at, for instance, 60% opacity. When this one loads, it's fine. It can load normally. So let's start with this one. We're going to create a new interaction. And if I scroll over here, you can see that there is an interaction on load. So I choose that. Uh, when it loads, we need to set the opacity. And I'll set it on this widget. That makes it easier. The, I've got that selected. So this is where the script, if you like, attaches to it. So when it loads, I need it to load at 60% opacity. No animation, it just loads at that. So I click OK. Let's test it. Always test as you go when you're adding these interactions. That way, if something doesn't work, you know exactly at what point it stopped working. Okay, so that's loading at 60%. This is just normal, and that's exactly what I want. So now I need to add an interaction to this one where when the mouse enters it, the opacity changes to 100%. So I need to add a new interaction, and it's going to be on mouse enter because I need this change to happen when the mouse enters this area. And again, I scroll down and find set opacity, this widget, and it automatically says, hey, let's do this at 100%. Now, another thing that I'll be doing here is actually animating it. So if I go down here, you see we've got a number of choices. Um, these all create different effects, so I won't go into all of them. You can play with those and see how, what effects that happen. I'm just going to do a plain old linear animation. The time is based on milliseconds, so there's a thousand milliseconds in a second, 500 is half a second, and that's just about right. So I'm going to click OK. Let's test this. Preview, and I hover over, it becomes 100% opaque, but when mouse leaves it, it stays at 100%. So let's just go in and fix this. Again, we've got this widget selected. We need a new interaction, and this one will be on mouse out. And I'll scroll down and find the set opacity, this widget, and we'll change that to 60%. Let's animate it linear again so that it matches and click OK. So if we have a look at the order of the interactions on load, 60% opacity, on mouse enter, 100% opacity, on mouse out, 60% opacity. Okay, let's test it. Great, that's exactly what we want to have happen. So let's also set the other one. Now I can go through these steps again, but an easier way of doing it can be on mouse center, right click and copy. We'll go over here and I will go new interaction. Let's see if it, oh, I'll have to um, on mouse enter and here I can just go paste. And there we go, sets the opacity. And the other one that I want is on mouse out, copy. Let's go back here, new interaction on mouse out, right click, paste. Okay, now the problem is it set the same settings as the original one, which we don't want. We want it to be the opposite, where on mouse enter it will change to 60%, on mouse out it will change to 100%. So let's just go in there and change the values. Okay, preview and we'll see how this works. Yep, that one's fading out and fading in. This one's fading in and fading out. So that shows you how you can create opacity effects using interactions. Thank you.